Well, quite a scene outside the Shriners Children's Hospital tonight as well, where emergency crews from Sacramento Fire, police, and sheriff's departments gathered for a special way to say good night to all of the patients. CBS 13's Marley Gentry joins us live outside the hospital, where the kids are sure to be talking about this, Marley, for a long time to come. <laughs> They definitely will be, Tony and Elizabeth. You know, I've watched this video of this event for years, but there's really nothing like it to see it in person. Let me tell you, this roundabout was just filled with fire trucks, police, and sheriff's patrol cars. They went all out to make sure the kids inside know they're not forgotten this holiday season. The music pumped up, signs in the air, and the ladder truck even higher. It's really nice because, like, there's a lot of decorations. Emergency crews filled the night sky with flashing lights, giving kids at the Shriners Children's Hospital a night to remember. What do you think? It's cool. It's tough to be in the hospital, right, at any age, but especially to be a child and those formative developmental years. This is really tough. A special night that hits home for Sacramento firefighter paramedic Ryan Hatfield, once a Shriners patient at 12 when he broke his back. So in the fire department, especially our, our fire department, uh, we roll deep and we really like to support these kids. When they're talking to their friends or their families at home, they get to talk about, we got to see this light show and we got to see these police officers and firefighters. It's something to be excited about because we're in the hospital, we excited about, oh, another, another sick, another headache, another stomach ache. Emergency crews even brought their families with kids proud to give other children a light of hope during some of their darkest days. Being up there during Christmas is probably hard for them, and I think it's great that everyone's out here able to help support them. It's pretty cool for the other kids because if they don't get presents, it's kind of sad, and like they get it. This is one of their gifts. And a special gift indeed. How sweet is that? And this National Good Night Lights program is done once a week for all of December so that those kids get a holiday light show when they normally wouldn't get to see all of those holiday lights. And what makes tonight really special, it's the last night that they'll have it here in December, but all of the crews brought presents that the kids will open on Christmas Day.